This video is the result of collating a lot of points that we came across in our discussions with the doctors who are handling COVID patients in India and abroad. This wave of COVID is much more dangerous and deadlier than the previous one. This time, patients are not showing severe symptoms initially, but after about four to eight days, their condition worsens suddenly. And this is a cause for worry. Close monitoring on every passing day is essential in this case. Given that this is a huge pandemic, the medical system in our country is overwhelmed. A lot of people are even finding it difficult to get a bed in the hospital. However, there is still a lot that we can do if we have a good doctor guiding us over telephone, following a few basic medication, monitoring consistently, and following few basic protocols, which we would be talking about in this video. And we hope that if you follow the principles that have been talked about in this video, you would be better equipped to handle any emergency scenario that arise because of you or anybody in your family being COVID positive. And in most of the cases, you might not even require hospitalization. First and foremost, always keep a watch for any of the symptoms, mainly fever, breathlessness, sore throat, coughing, and even headaches. You might also get diarrhea. So these symptoms you should always watch out for. Note down the first day you experience any of these symptoms because all the medication and the treatment will be dependent on how many days has elapsed since the, since the day you got your first symptom. So it's very important to note down the first day you got the symptoms. You should also get yourself tested for COVID-19. Get an RT-PCR test done immediately. Now, why is that report important? That report is very important in case you require hospitalization or in case you need some emergency medication. Because in nearly all the states, the entire infrastructure is set up in such a way that that report needs to get registered on the government websites so that you are also in queue for getting an hospital bed. So it's very important to get tested. Now, one thing to keep in mind is your symptoms are more important than what comes out in the report. What does that mean? That means in case your report is negative, even though when you have COVID-19 symptoms, what you should do is you should wait for maybe two, three days and again, get yourself tested. In all likelihood, that report will turn out to be positive. So you should get yourself tested, get the report, the COVID positive report, and go to the state government websites, register that report on that website, so that in case of emergencies, you are able to get a hospital bed in time. We have observed that most of the problem arise if people are not willing to understand that they have got COVID. They are not willing to acknowledge. This is a huge problem. Why? If you don't acknowledge, you will not take action. And if you don't take action, COVID will take action and you will not have time to respond. So always get yourself tested, acknowledge you have COVID, but there's no need to be afraid of COVID. One more important point is in the hospitals, what doctors have told us that once a patient gets Corona, he's, he or she is very scared that, oh my God, I have got Corona. And that leads to further deterioration of the condition. You don't have to be afraid of Corona. You have to fight. You have to fight well. You have to take measures, but you don't have to be afraid of Corona. So please do follow that. Don't be afraid of Corona. Just take all the precautions. Do all the medica take all the medication, increase your lung power and fight well. Plus, but please don't be afraid. As soon as you start getting symptoms or you know that you are COVID positive, you should get under medical supervision. Now, what do I mean by medical supervision? Nearly all the doctors these days are offering online consultation. So it can be as simple as teleconsultation. The medication and the treatment is a standard, but you need a doctor so that the doctor can look into your condition, monitor you, and he or she is able to tell you when do you need what kind of medication. And he or she will be able to prescribe you or raise an alarm if things go really bad. So you can do teleconsultation, which will be good enough. But always, always don't try to self-medicate at home. 
always get under medical supervision and, and then take medicines. Purchase a thermometer and an oximeter. Those two things are very very important. You need to monitor yourself regularly. When I say regularly, at least three times a day, you must monitor yourself. And what do you need to monitor? You must monitor your temperature. You must monitor your SpO2 level, which is also called the oxygen level. And the oximeter is going to help you do that. You must also write down if you are having any breathing difficulties. Any other symptom which you see like diarrhea or sore throat, you must write down everything. This charting is very essential. So you must be doing the charting every day, at least three times a day. To maximize your lung power, what you must be doing is lying down in prone position. I mean, you can do it throughout the day or maybe every two hours you can take rest for maybe one hour and do it again. So the more you lie in prone position, your oxygen levels are going to improve. From the fourth day onward, you have to be more careful. You have to do robust monitoring and look out for any of these symptoms. First and foremost, if your temperature is not subsiding, so if you are having consistent temperature of more than maybe 101 or 100, if you are having increased breathing difficulties, if your oxygen levels are going below 95, if you are having persistent diarrhea, or persistent headaches. As soon as you get these symptoms, you must immediately consult a doctor because he or she is going to advise you what to do next. Mostly the doctor is going to ask you for getting some tests done. These are blood tests like CBC, D-dimer, S-ferritin. Most probably the doctor is going to ask you to get some blood tests done. These tests would be CBC, HSCRP, LDH, S-ferritin, D-dimer and IL-6. The doctor might also ask you to get a chest x-ray done or a CT scan. It's a cause for alarm if your pulse is consistently higher than 100. If your temperature does not come down from 100 for consistently 3 to 4 days or if you have severe headache for many days or diarrhea. It is usually a bad sign if you have uncontrollable sugar, if your D-dimer and s are high, if your lymphocytes are more than 20% or if your CRP is more than 10, you must again reach out to your doctor. If your condition worsens after first week, that is seven day since your first symptom, the doctor might put you on a steroid medication. Steroids are the most effective form of treatment currently known in case of lung infection. But you have to be very careful. Steroids will do more harm than good if they are taken early or if they are taken in mild conditions. If the steroid medication is started at the right time, the chances of survival are much higher. If your oxygen levels are decreasing and breathlessness is still there, the doctor might advise you to get oxygen cylinder or a concentrator at home which he or she might be able to help you set up but if your oxygen level is falling below 92 you must get hospitalized get hospitalized immediately if your oxygen level fall below 90 now this is very very important lot of these cases what's happening is people are waiting till the time their oxygen levels are 70 80 or even lesser at that stage there is a lot of concern why because your organs might fail. As soon as you see your oxygen levels are falling below 90, get yourself admitted. It's very, very important. Once you enter the recovery phase, which is after two weeks of your first symptom, you have to follow certain things. Now, COVID-19 attacks the lungs mostly. So what you have to do is you have to strengthen your lungs no matter what. The easiest and the best way to do that is to do pranayama and yoga. So yes, you heard it right. It's very important to do pranayams. Now what is pranayama? You will find a clean number of videos floating around in YouTube which will tell you how to do pranayama. It's a very simple technique wherein you breathe to your, 
to fill up your lungs and then breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, but with a lot of power. That will help you to improve your lung capacity and the lung power. You can also purchase an instrument called respirometer. So you would see, I mean, if you search it online, you will see that it has got three balls and one inlet with which you can, you can suck that thing and suck in air in your mouth and it will cause the, the balls to get up. So that's an exercise for your lungs. The more balls you can pull up, the more power your lungs have. So that is one exercise for your lungs which you can do if you purchase that respirometer. You must also do steam inhalation three times every day. Eat healthy. Keep yourself well hydrated. When I say well hydrated, I mean you must drink at least three to five liters of water every day. It's very, very essential. When we say eat healthy, eat a lot of vegetables. It might happen that you have lost your sense of smell or sense of taste, but it's very important to eat because in Corona, you get tired very soon. Your body will feel the brunt of it. So it's important that you keep yourself hydrated and to keep your energy levels high, you need to eat well. Do yoga and breathing exercises at least twice, if not thrice daily. That will help you immensely and continue that regime for a period of maybe two to three months at least so that the damage which has been caused by Corona, you can get, get those lungs, lung power back in the due course. We, f we firmly believe that if you follow all the protocols that we have mentioned in the video properly and you are able to get medical attention in time, you would be able to navigate through COVID crisis with ease. Most of the problems arise when people fail to acknowledge that they have got Corona. What happens in that case is you are not acknowledging you have Corona, you don't take any measures. But Corona takes it, its measures and it is causing a lot of harm to your body. And lot of things, lot of the times what happens is if you don't do timely intervention, things move from good to worse or bad to worse so fast that you don't have time to act. So acknowledge, acknowledge that you have got Corona and take measures, take action, monitor yourself properly and get treated. Remember, comprehensive monitoring and timely intervention is the key to defeat Corona. Please share this video with family and friends so that they get to know about these protocols and they are able to take care of themselves, their near and dear ones in this time of crisis. If we are able to save even a single life because of this video, we will feel very, very satisfied. Please do write to us, comment what are the challenges you are facing in your city. If there are any questions which are crossing your mind, please do comment. We will try our level best to answer those questions and to seek advice from doctors whenever we feel that we are not able to answer. Please do comment what all challenges are you facing in your city. If there are any questions which you would like us to answer or if we are not able to answer, we will try finding those answers from our doctor friends who have helped us to collate this information in the video format. Wishing best of health for you and your family. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to TGF and hit the bell icon to get instant notifications.